my guys. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> I've paralleled another battery now to the back of this car. So, oh, <laughs> he's absolutely savage. He makes a lot of difference, I'm telling you. He's unbelievable. So how have I done this? Well, it's taken a little while to figure all this out, but basically I've just, all I've done is really just um, added an XT60 connector to the existing Segway battery. And then I'm parallel, I'm parallel 15S LiPo pack to the back of the Segway. And now it just goes like a stink. <laughs> so it's quite, it's quite simple to do because it's actually quite an easy thing to work with. This, uh, the Segway itself, um, which is obviously what this cart's powered by. But yeah, effectively I've got a 5 amp hour 15S LiPo tagged on to the actual main battery uh, of the Segway and that has, that has now doubled the capacity um, and doubled the runtime basically and given you much more pumps because you know what the, the existing 18650 battery is is good but I, I think it's it's you know it doesn't hold up well to like 20 amps of current going rushing out of it um, and I'll just hit reverse so you know it, it really is a good you know it's a good battery but it's not um, it's not good enough for running to high power Getting a lot of much better acceleration now um, and it's holding that top that peak power uh, you know for, for longer so we're just getting higher top speed you can come off the power and come back on it and break it coming out of turns and stuff like that like this it's just a lot more a lot more drivable now so it's right and then you can come straight back on the power it almost like wheel spins because that that power is actually right there so yeah guys it's been a bit of a fiddle around um, and I've had to obviously cut open the battery pack and do this mod but it's probably better than actually kind of going and spending loads of money on a on an S Max battery because I don't think it's going to have the same sort of punch as, as the LiPo packs would. When you run LiPos in parallel with lithium iron you've got to be careful because you need to make sure that the whoa that torque coming in I've gone uphill now as well got to make sure that the you know the voltages are the same on the two packs because otherwise you'd end up with a situation where one will try and charge the other pack really quickly um, but because the lipos are, are like very low internal resistance they're going to dump huge amounts of power very very quickly um, and because there's not really any regulation of power going back into the, the BMS of the battery which is effectively where we you know, tagged on our lipo pack, you could get a situation. <laughs> it's going pretty quick. Um, you could get a situation where you know things get a bit out of control, and you don't want that. So, yeah, guys, this this is um, this is really getting there now. <laughs> Unbelievable bug. So it's it's weird because as as you get sort of like down the discharge, it actually feels like it's. I think it's taking more power from the from the lipo pack, which kind of makes sense because it's low internal resistance, as I say. Um, much low internal resistance, which means you're going to run the you're going to run the lipos out quicker than the actual um, the lithium iron battery. I wonder if this thing would just run purely off a of lipo because that would then sort of you know take it to you see, hear that beeping. That is that is it. Basically saying I can't go any faster. Um, that's its maximum speed. I'm guessing this is like 20 ish mile an hour. Uh, I need to do a speed test, but it's, it's definitely up there now. Get, I'd like to race a go kart pro and see what happens. I think the acceleration is probably similar. It's, it's a lot of fun, absolutely a lot of fun. Need to race it. Yeah, you'll, you know, you can actually put, spin the back out or, or pull away now. Yeah, guys, so. <laughs> More experimentation to be done with this one, but if you want to, um, if you want to really increase the power of your go kart, then just um, just parallel a lipo pack in in, uh, in parallel with the uh, with the existing battery. Now, obviously, I've got to charge this separately, this battery, and because it's made of um, three 5S bricks, three 5S 5000 packs, I can just take them off and charge them on one of my RC chargers, which I use for you know, my, my RC stuff. So it's actually a perfect solution for that. Um, and I 
won't be running this standard anymore. I'll just be running this. You know, that's just such a lot of fun. Oh! G force, as you can see, you know, cold air is, is pretty bonkers, you know. Um, it really is. Now, you know, the power reduction thing, you're still getting that power reduction thing a bit, but but where it sort of reduces the top, it's less, it's less obvious, it's less obvious as the power gets, as this, this, well, you see, we're going uphill now. Funny, I'd say I'm coming from that back wheel. Um, I think I might have picked up a twig or something. See, there's, there's the power reduction. It's reduced the power because I'm on a hill. Um, and then it will come back, kick back in. And when it kicks in, it really don't stop. It's really absolutely brilliant. Um, so here, oh, this is what you want to do, guys, if you want to increase the run time of your, um, of your 9 book go card. See you next time.